What's up folks, this is Dan from Discern, and these are my thoughts on the new track from Colony House, You Know It. Colony House is an American pop rock indie alternative band. Two of the members of the group, uh, Caleb and Will Chapman, are uh, actually sons of the well-known Stephen Curtis Chapman. That is not what makes this band worth listening to. No, that's just a fun factoid. Uh, they released their debut full-length album when I was younger, just about two years ago, and uh, then they released the younger EP uh, earlier this year, and that was just sort of a simple three tracks of remixes and remakes of, of the two most popular tracks on their full-length album. The band has gained a pretty sizable audience uh, and, and you know gained a lot of traction over the last couple of years, both commercially and critically. And this new single, You Know It, is the first track released from their upcoming album, Only the Lonely, which is dropping on September 16th. And when it comes to this single, I think uh, the most concise way to describe it is simple, classic rock and roll. It, uh, it has pop melodies, for sure. It has indie rock energy. But the structure and mood of this track just bleeds old-timey rock and roll. There's... There's characteristics of it all over the place. Uh, there's a, a touch of twang and, and bounce back delay in the lead vocals. He's got plenty of yips and yelps to make sure you feel that delay. Uh, gang harmonies on the hook during the chorus. Brit pop inspired guitar tones with a, a little added crunch. Uh, straightforward drumming with, with a heavy use of the, the pingy ride cymbal on the chorus. Warm, fuzzed out analog recording sound kind of over the whole thing. Also, this song is, is just barely over three minutes long. So it's a, it's a tightly packaged pop jingle, just brimming with excitement and charisma. And the music video has a lot of fun paying tribute to sort of the visual aspect of that sound I'm describing, the roots of rock and roll and pop. So it's got black and white imagery. It's that four piece rock and roll band, three dudes in sort of a half circle arrangement, uh, the drummer elevated on a platform behind them. Very classic and historical uh, visual and, and even sound that they were going for on this song. Uh, I think they definitely succeeded in that, in, in imitating that classic sound. Now, both musically and lyrically, uh, this song can be described as simple. But I think it's simple and sort of formulaic in a way that feels like an homage rather than laziness. You know, it's purposefully imitating the sound of a previous era. And the lyrics walk that same path as well. The theme of the song is basically, when I'm out on the road, I miss my baby and I'm, I'm coming home soon. A lyrically well-worn road for sure over, over many years. Many songs have touched on that before. But I do think it's quite clever that uh, the second verse is sort of a 180 from the first verse. You know, in the first verse, he's singing to his special someone. And while he's out on the road, while he's touring, he's saying, I miss you, but, but me and the dudes will be back before you know it. But in the second verse, he's singing to the audience, to the fans who came to see him during, during this tour. And he's saying, I've given this one all I've got. I've given this show all I've got. It's over now. I miss my baby. I'm going home. But we'll be back before you know it. You know, it's a double usage sort of basically of the we'll be back before you know it phrase. Pretty clever, I thought. And you can't talk about this song without mentioning the hook. It's basically just one phrase and some la-la-las. It's about as uncomplicated as it gets. Very simple but very effective uh, pop melody in here. It's easy to remember, hard to forget. It's very engaging. Um, right away you want to sing along with it uh very reminiscent again of of songs from over 50 years ago those those pop hits especially in the british scene that are just so purely and quintessentially pop i mean those songs defined the sound and i think this song retains that sound and i love too how the hook is played right after the bridge by the electric guitar just a really squealy twitchy buzzy tone a great feature and then it transitions right back into the chorus with a just Tarzan-like rumbling Tom Phil from the drums. Uh, more fuel on the fire, basically, as they roll back into the chorus. One 
downside of this track though, or I should say more broadly of this type of sound is that it's showing all of its cards at once. You know, you hear the song just a few times and you've heard it all. Yeah, there isn't a lot of depth or weight to this track. It's lightweight, it's palatable, it's just plain fun. I mean, the song ends with a piano slide and then some serious hammering on the keys surrounded by a wild commotion of, of drums and distorted guitars. There's a, a liveliness and a vigor to the performances, and both in this moment and throughout the whole thing. Uh, it sounds like they took this song very lightly, at least that's the perception, and, and just sort of let loose during the recording. But this, uh, this quick shot, this burst of pop energy that makes the song so fantastic can also make it feel like a dud after a few months. It's like a sugar rush, you know, it's that type of song. And right now I'm certainly feeling the high, but uh, I don't think it'll last more than a week or so. But we'll have to see, only time will tell. I mean, how will I feel about this track in five years? Who knows? Uh, now, because this is the first single from their upcoming album, it also got me thinking, I wonder where this track will end up on the album, where it will fall in the track listing. Because I could see this being the last track on the album. I mean, very fitting given the, the lyrics of verse 2, sort of like saying, uh, thanks for listening, goodbye for now, but, but we'll be back before you know it. I could also see this becoming their set closer, you know, each night while they're out on tour. It's a, a farewell. It's your thank you and goodbye. They're saying, we'll be back before you know it. And it's got that line in there, I'm sorry, San Francisco, I just got to go home. Where they can easily slip in the name of the town they're in. Like for me, it would be, I'm sorry, Omaha, I've just got to go home. Perfect fit. Musically, it's also got that final song feel. It's a raging end to their set, ending it with a bang. I could totally see that happening. In closing, you know, a thousand songs have been written before that have similar sounds and lyrics to this song for sure. But this song doesn't strike me as, you know, trying to be something that it's not. Uh, I don't think this song is looking to be a game changer or a groundbreaker. I think it's just meant to be an exciting and thrilling piece of pop rock. And it's that thrill uh, uh, that makes this song so good. It doesn't need or probably wouldn't even benefit from rich, weighty substance or artistic drama. It's just simple, easy, and enjoyable. You know, it's like candy. It's an amusement park. It's fireworks. It's not an Oscar winner for Best Picture. It's not a complex book series with twists and turns. It's pop. It's rock and roll. And I like it, at least for now. So that's all I got. Uh, that is my thoughts in a much less concise fashion than the song I was just talking about. Thanks for watching this review video. Uh, thanks for sticking with me till the end. Remember, new track reviews, just like this one, release every Wednesday, and new album reviews release every Friday. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is the best way to make sure you don't miss any new videos. If you wanna hear this track, by Colony House. Uh, there's a link to it in the description, both link to the music video and to a Spotify link. There's also a link to their Twitter as well. Uh, if you like this song and you're one of those Twitterers, go give them a follow over there, you know. And if you have a question or a comment for me about this track or not about this track, you can comment below this video. You could tweet at me at Discern Reviews. You can email me, discernreviews at gmail.com. And if you have listened to this song, what did you think of it? You know, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? All opinions are welcome. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, I hope this helps. See ya.